So friends, uh, let us come back to the field of environmental education on the population education. On the study has special importance for all the participants. We had one class or we did one class as introductory class and that's why today's class is place the introductory, introductory class 2. And here in this class, we have to discuss some of the most important issues relating to the concept, relating to the ideas, relating to the objectives, and relating to the new developments in the field of environmental science or in the field of environmental studies. Friends, by finishing the introductory discussions on environmental education, we are to go back to the concept and definition part today. Man have been realizing, means you are to keep playing with the earlier class, that's what you are to begin. Man have been realizing the, the necessity of dominating or using the nature according to their needs for the development of lives. Increase of life avenues and repeat progress of the economic process of the world. Means yesterday we or in the last class we had discussion that for the prosperity for survival we are bound to depend on the resources of nature. And what we are doing, we have been pressurizing or we have been trying to use it dominate nature or try to or we have been trying to utilize all the important non-renewable resources of nature in the name of helping the civilization become advanced nations have been creating pressure over the properties of nature and that's why problems are coming up let us see the next because of man's greed Situations have compelled all to heart the nature for exploring the resources and to use everything to fulfill the increased needs or demands. Friends, without nature and her resources, we never can exist or satisfy any of our needs. Because you know so really that the most important three components of the environment means the land air and water these are the three most important components we live we depend on land we depend on air we depend on water but we do not create anything of all these three components simply we utilize and use on our demands as civilization advances demands are increasing and increasing day by day and because of such increased demand for the satisfaction of increased needs of the citizens of nations of the world and nations you see for becoming advanced and developed there is high competition of exploring the resources or using the resources which should not be used or should not be explored considering the issue of existence amidst the complex situations of the world or, or world of nature. For these reasons, almost all the environmentalists and kind folks are gradually realizing the fact that the future generations will be in great danger if the complexity of man's living under the relentless attack on the nature for the economic development is not decreased by sourcing alternative means and measures. And for this reason, it has become important for understanding the very nature of nature or having our concept very clear relating to 
the environment we live in. If the important components and areas of nature which are related to the, the existence of the organisms are exploited and destroyed, the future generations will have to face various problems. For such reason, the natural resources should be properly used and conserved to the future generations by understanding it properly through long-term steps. Friends, there is the demand or necessity of becoming judicious at the time of using the resources available in the field of nature, thinking about the future of our future generation. For the development and extension of such attitudes and to impart knowledge to the new generation to shape the nature, the necessity of environmental education in modern time has been felt by all. Why there is the demand, why there is the necessity of environmental education? Because of all these. And that's why, for explaining about the necessity of environmental education, you are to see the explained, already explained contents of the slides. The prime considerations of all the nations of the globe have concentrated towards the protection and safety of nature in the interest of future safety and protection of mankind and the global social order. Because if we do not pay attention towards the safety parameter of the nature and the preservation, demand of preservation of the non-renewable properties of nature, certainly our future generation will suffer and they will face many problems in their survival. Environment, now let us see. The introduction has been, means the explanation concerning to the concept of environmental education has been placed before you, touching all the important parameters, particularly relating to the very concept of environmental education, as well as the necessity for spreading environmental education towards the participants from primary to the high education level. Now friends, we are to start our discussion on the area meaning and definition of environmental education which is very important for all of you. Let us see it. Environment as we have understood is the conditions and situations that surround all living and non-living beings and things. In other terms, the conditions and influences which have definite impact on the influences over the growth, health, progress, advancement, and transformations of life and living conditions is environment. It includes all this, all the most important aspects which are concerned with the survival as well as existence as well as continuation of life process here in this planet art. Environmental education is an understanding and realization of the importance of conditions and the influences which have definite impact and influences over the growth, health, progress, advancement and transformation of life and living conditions of everybody and everything. The apprehension of people under the nations relating to the concept of environmental education was had in educational domain till recently. Means we fail to understand, realize the demand of being educated on the most important segment which is known as the surrounding for our own sake and for the interest of helping nature survive in the interest of our survival. And it is recently, very recently, in knowledge domain, in educational domain, the importance has been well felt by 
the intellectuals, the economists, the scientists throughout the globe, people and nations of the world, neither had till recently any idea nor resolution for developing interest to the, to the area of environment and developed concept regarding the environment in the recent past. And that's why we did not have any clear concept concerning to environmental education as well as the subject contents of the subject itself. Thus, the idea of environmental education is reasonably very recent, comparatively very recent. According to the United States Environmental Education Act 1970, it is the educational process dealing with man's relationship with his or her natural and man-made surroundings and it includes the relation of population, pollution, resource elevation and depletion, conservation, transportation, technology and urban and rural planning to the total human environment. So friends, when the issue of environmental education arises, then we are to consider the natural about all the segments of the natural surrounding, man-made surroundings, thenceforth population, thenceforth pollution parameter, thenceforth resource allocation parameter, depletion of resources of in various parts of the globe, necessity of conservation of the resources, the process of transport, transportation of resources, thenceforth technology and how nations are utilizing technology for exploring the resources you see which are here in the heart of nature and transport urban and rural planning these are very important because without you see considering all these most important factors and without having proper concept concerning to all the specifications we never can have proper knowledge relating to environmental education. The seminar on, on environmental education organized by the Finnish National Commission for UNESCO at Jami. These are also please see UNESCO at Jami. Let us see the next slide. This is in 1974 has given the definition of environmental education as how the UC seminar, how the workshop define environmental education. Environmental education is a way of implementing the goal of environmental protection. See, the issue of protection has become the focal issue. The point of protection has become the most important point. Environmental education is not a separate branch of science or subject of study. It should be carried out according to the principle of lifelong integral education so that from the very moment of birth till the last part of life means to the point of death, people can have people can have proper concern or people can express or expose judicious outlook and behave judiciously towards the smallest, every smallest or all smallest segments of nature which are very important for, ex for, our, for the existence of our life. So friends, in a sense, environmental education is a holistic concept and this education is to be started just after the start of our life and there should be the end of such education at the end of our life. This is the explanation. See, the other part or the other definitions are to be discussed in the coming classes so that your idea relating to environmental education becomes much clearer and you become much judicious towards the properties of nature on which you and me, all of we are always to depend for our survival. Friends, 
The basic concern of environmental education is we have to help nature survive and sustain and exist for our own health, for our own survival, for our own existence. And that's why environmental education is a very sincere realization relating to the importance of the importance of existence of nature for our own existence as well as for our continuity of life and for the safety of our future generation. Thank you so much.